time to organize. situation I have seen that people are trying to get more organized and organizing their closets organizing their kitchens organizing their offices and all of that is lovely but have you organized your purse and I'm not talking about your whole purse yes they have like organizers that you can buy for your purses yes but I carry a little mini bag that has pretty much all of the essentials that you will need for life in general. I started creating these little emergency packs because every time I go out somewhere, I find that I don't have something that I need. Don't you hate it when you're carrying this huge bag and you can't find an item, a necessity, that you need, such as, for example, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere, like such as, I could have an entire refrigerator in my purse, but I would not be able to find a single hair tie. So I thought I would get organized and create these little mini essential bags. You can use mini makeup bags like I am. These are, of course, Ipsy bags when I used to have the Ipsy subscription. I finally put them to good use. Or you can use Ziploc bags, it doesn't matter, as long as it keeps you organized. And I always try to match my little emergency pack with the purse that I'm carrying so that it, I don't know, it just looks cuter that way. All right, so let's take a little sneak peek. So each one of my mini bags has a some type of lotion in it. These come in handy when your knees are ashy. My brown girls, you know what I'm talking about. Those ashy knees and elbows, oh, I hate that. I also keep a chapstick of some sort. I prefer Vaseline or Carmex. I don't just use these for my lips, but also if I have a really, really bad dry patch on my skin, I just put a little bit on that dry patch and kind of calms it down. So just a tip, always carry some kind of breath mint or gum, something of that sort. Um, gum, I would be a little bit more careful because if you live in a very, very hot state, um, it has happened to me, <laughs> the gum will melt all over your stuff. So just a warning, just be careful with that. But a mint, Tic Tacs, carry those with me as well. Um, let's see, hair ties. Hair ties, very, very important. You can never have enough bobby pins, never. I remember so many times, especially like going to church or going out and I'll be looking for a single bobby pin and I can't find it anywhere, anywhere. I buy packs and packs of these and yet I would not be able to find bobby pins anywhere. So now I just keep a few like this in my emergency pack and I'm good to go. Next, I always carry band-aids. Um, these aren't just for cuts, but also for when I'm wearing uncomfortable shoes. These are great to prevent blisters from happening. All my girls out there, you know. You know what I'm talking about. So I always carry a few of those. You can't forget a pen. I like to carry my own pen just because I don't like to use like public pens. You don't know who has what and where it's been and I would just rather avoid all that and just be safe, you know, better safe than sorry. Just carry your own pen. Next, I carry lip gloss, always, just to, you know, keep my lips nice and juicy and plump and looking very glossy, you know. Then I always carry a black like cudgel pencil as well as a mini mascara always you just never know where you might go who you might meet so just in case i keep these in every single one of my little emergency packs i would also keep an eyebrow pencil in each one if i had enough but i don't 
So the next best thing is a spoolie. These come in handy so much. I cannot tell you how many times my eyebrow hairs just freak out. I don't know why. So just combing them into place makes them look a lot neater and more groomed and you just look more put together. So these, I mean, you can get for free from, you know, the Sephora and Ulta like makeup shops as well as Amazon. They'll have like huge packs for really cheap or you can get an old mascara wand and thoroughly clean it and then keep that in your little emergency pack. Next, I always keep Q-tips, um, whether it be for my eye makeup or for cleaning up a little wound, you don't know. These always come in handy, always. I also carry safety pins, but these always come in handy. Somehow, some way they do. Especially for all of my Indian girls out there with all of our lingas and our saris. You know, we use like 5 million safety pins to pin all that crap up. So, extra safety pins always come in handy. This next item is an absolute essential to me. And that is a mirror. It's a little dirty. <laughs> but this is just a simple little compact mirror that I carry in each and every single one of my purses because I don't like looking in the camera of my phone. It just, it's not the same as looking in a mirror. These come in handy so much. And this one's really nifty because it has one of those like really close up mirrors as well as like a regular mirror. So that's very nice, but this is really nice. It's actually really hard. So you won't risk breaking your mirror into a thousand pieces. This next item is a facial razor, and this has come in handy so many times, especially for all of my Indian girls out there. <laughs> We're very, very hairy, very hairy, okay? We have facial hair for some reason, okay? Let me know if I'm the only person or if this happens to you, but when I'm doing my makeup or getting ready, like at home, I look perfectly fine in, in the mirror at home, and then, when I go out and I'm in the car, the little mirror that flips down, it shows me all of my imperfections, like all of them. And by imperfections, I mean like there will be that one mustache hair that's just growing out wildly and somehow I missed it when I was at home. And this is just such an easy way to just do a quick little like, you know, and you get rid of that little wild hair. Same thing for your regular eyebrow area, your unibrow area. It just, this is wonderful. I love this. <laughs> Next, we have a tweezer. These things come in handy all the time. Same thing if you don't want to like razor blade off your, you know, extra hairs that are growing in random places on your face, then you can always use the tweezer. I've gotten splinters before randomly and these have come in handy. Always keep a pair of tweezers with you at all times. I also carry a nail file in each and every one of these little packs. These come in handy all the time. I cannot tell you how many times I have chipped a nail and it, I hate the feeling of that jagged nail all day long and then I just start to pick at it, pick at it until the entire nail just comes off. So these have come in handy so much. So I always keep these on hand and these are really affordable. You can buy a huge bulk on Amazon and I will try to link down below some really affordable options, but definitely carry a nail file with you. Next, we have some alcohol pads. These always come in handy, uh, not just for cuts and scratches and scrapes. I always use these to clean my phone as well and just anything, you can, you can use this to sanitize anything, especially nowadays, you know, with the whole situation going on. And these are 70% alcohol. So I would highly, highly suggest keeping some alcohol prep pads with you. And finally, I carry a tie to go pen. These things are like magic. I just, I don't understand what kind of wizardry is in this little tube, but these are amazing. I cannot tell you how many times I've used a Tide to Go pen. I'm not sponsored, although it would be great if they wanted to sponsor me because I truly do use 
this pen all the time, especially, especially when I'm wearing light colors. I literally cannot wear a white or a cream or a blush pink without getting it dirty all the time. I, I can't eat when I'm wearing light colors because I will undoubtedly get that on my shirt. It's just the worst thing when you have this really cute outfit and then you have a stain, a little stain. It just ruins your entire outfit. So these always come in handy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about probably the most important item, especially during these times, which is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, preferably 60 to 70% alcohol, which I don't believe this is because this is from Bath and Body Works, but you better believe once this is over, I'm going to be replacing this with 60 to 70% alcohol, but I'm not going anywhere, so there's that. This one I actually have clipped on my bag, but all of my other little emergency packs have their own little hand sanitizer and those are all 60 to 70%. This one, I just thought they, you know, it looked cute and matched my bag, so that's why. So of course you can customize each pack to your liking, but these are the essential items that I always reach for. <sighs> I cannot tell you how much this has improved my life. It's just so much better. Before, when I'm out the door, I'll be stalling because I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I forgot something. I know I'm gonna need something. I, ugh, you just never know what you're gonna need. But now, I can always be sure because it's always in my purse, in each and every single one of my purses. These aren't the only items that I carry in my bag, obviously. I do have some other essential items that I carry, but they don't fit in my little pack. If you want, um, I could do a what's in my purse video. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Do people even do those anymore? I don't know. But I like old school YouTube videos. And I hope I inspired you guys to organize your own purses and keep some essential items with you at all times because you just never know when you might need that extra hairband or that bobby pin or that lip gloss. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.